Hey everyone, this is just a quick tutorial on how to uh, incorporate math symbols into your um, documents. There's a, a really uh, nice little uh, language and editing tool called uh, LaTeX. It's um, spelled L-A-T-E-X, but uh, it's pronounced LaTeX, and it allows for professional-looking um, typesetting of, of symbols that you can't necessarily get very easily on your keyboard and so I want to show you how to use that that might be something valuable to you both in this class and then in the future as you go off to college and you're producing papers and things um, hopefully this is something that will help you out uh, so there are all kinds of editors for LaTeX um, but uh, I'm gonna show you how to incorporate it into your Google Docs because that's probably the easiest thing at this point uh, to, to learn how to do it so uh, I have just a Google page open here if you just Google um, LaTeX Google Docs, then you will see uh, as the first hit there an auto LaTeX equations add on. So, what you want to do is just click that and um, install it. I already have it installed, uh, but once you've done that, you can create a, a new, any new Google Doc. Um, you can incorporate LaTeX symbols into it. So you would click on the add-ons and then you would see that uh, auto LaTeX equations in the drop-down and you just say start. And when you click start, you get a little window here to the right that gives you a little bit of uh, instruction on how to use it. Um, LaTeX has specific formatting for how you, uh, you know, incorporate a bunch of different symbols and things. And they give you a little example here. Um, so you wrap LaTeX expressions in double dollar signs, uh, at least in the Google Docs you do. It's a little bit different in other edi editors, but in the Google Doc you wrap it in double dollar signs and um, you can then render the equations. Now you can have multiple uh, multiple equations, multiple expressions I guess it sh should say, and uh, it will render all of those into images that are then embedded into your um, into your Google Doc. So I'll type some non uh, LaTeX text next to that, and if I if I click render equations, it'll take a minute to load the first time potentially, um, but then it produces that uh, as an image. So that's now an image that you can you know move around and, and do stuff to. It's no longer text. If you wish, you you know maybe you make a mistake or something, you just place your cursor. Uh, it's not always easy, but place your cursor before the image, and you can de-render it, and then you can edit it again um, to be what you want it to be, and then re-render, and um, it will re-render that for you, and, and you have it. Okay. Uh, now, obviously, you don't know LaTeX, probably most of you, and so some of this might be a little bit cryptic, so what I've included are a couple things on Canvas. Uh, one is a a link to this document, which is basically all the math symbols that are available in LaTeX and how you write them. So like an alpha, for instance, a Greek letter alpha is backslash and the word alpha. So how would I do that? Well, I'd come in here and remember I'd wrap it in double dollar signs and I'd say backslash alpha, double dollar sign, and render equations. And there's my alpha. Okay, now it gives us a little link to the, the company that made this, but you don't have to worry about that. It won't show up in your documents when you print them. Um, so all kinds of symbols there. Uh, for instance, if I want, oh, I don't know, the um, symbol for integer, right? Uh, like the Z. Here are all the sort of... Uh, letters in that style, right? So um, the set of integers, you know, I would do this. Uh, now this is wrapped in single dollar signs already. Um, you would wrap it in double dollar signs to, to get that. Um, but you can just oftentimes cut and paste. Um, again, I want that in double dollar signs in the Google Doc to make that work. But this would give me the A. If I want the natural numbers, for instance, put N in there, render the equation and I get a beautiful natural number sign. So uh, that's a great a great tool to use. Uh, like I said, this is a, a lot of the math symbols that you might be interested in. 
Um, if you don't really want to look it up and you want to have something a little more interactive, there's also a link to this online LaTeX equation editor, and you can get a lot of the symbols directly. And if you if you click on it, it will produce the uh, LaTeX for you, and then you can copy and paste that into your Google Doc as well. Uh, so that's another way if you want to look for things that way. But um, please try to use that kind of thing. It will uh, be a good skill for you to have as you go off to school and as you're writing, um, you know, a little bit more formal papers. Um, something that hopefully will help you. Okay, that's it.